Hi there and welcome to another video of measureschool.com where we teach you the data-driven way of digital marketing. My name is Julian and on this channel we do marketing tech reviews, tutorials and the occasional live session just like this one so you keep up to date with all the stuff that's going around. Well, anyways, today I wanted to jump in and quickly tell you about the newest changes that came out of Google I.O. Now, Google I.O. is the developer conference of uh, Googlers and um, they invite a bunch of developers to their home in um, Mountain View and present the newest changes. We already, or you probably saw the changes that are coming to Android, um, Google Home, a big push in AI and uh, all the other products that are uh, surrounding that. Uh, mobile is still a big, big theme there. And that's why Google was pretty big on this conference at least um, with the changes to Firebase uh, as well. And there are some interesting changes for marketers who want to understand tracking a little bit better in Firebase analytics. Now it's just a, or yesterday was just the first day of, of of the announcement. So there may be some new revelations coming out. I guess the biggest things I was said at the keynote. So I hope uh, we are up to date with this video and not more changes are coming in the next days. Um, now, Google I.O. is mainly for developers. So if you are a developer, um, you might want to go over to the channel of um, the guys of Firebase or the Google Developers channel um, where they are going to go in depth on all uh, the stuff that came out new and there's a lot of video material there. And I just passed through it and found um, a few interesting videos about um, um, Firebase analytics. And uh, this is what I want to discuss today. Yeah, okay, um, let's dive right into it. So um, let's go over to my screen here. And as you might see, there are these videos on Firebase Analytics and the announcement was uh, this morning mainly about um, some newest changes here. So the interesting part uh, I thought at the beginning, right at the beginning, they said that they're gonna change the name from Firebase Analytics to actually Google Analytics for Firebase. So this is one of the newest changes here. And I guess um, they are trying to push away uh, or, or bring together the teams of Google Analytics and um, Firebase a bit. And this is interesting because we still have Google Analytics for apps around. We still have Google Tag Manager and the Google Tag Manager implementation for apps, which um, is now under legacy mode, I guess. And um, Google Tag Manager is mainly based on Firebase events. So you need to have Firebase installed in order for um, Google Tag Manager to work within your app. So that's quite interesting that they're now saying, okay, we are combining Google Analytics and Firebase, and this is called Google Analytics for Firebase. Now, I don't know about this change because if you look down here in the video title, uh, it still says Firebase Analytics, although they changed the name to Google Analytics for Firebase. So I don't know who didn't get the memo, but um, it's still quite confusing what is going on with these different apps, uh, with these different suites out there with Google Analytics, with Firebase, and what is the thing that we should bank on in, in the long run when, when it comes to apps, right? Um, from my opinion, um, Firebase is a great tool and it, it has so much functionality for developers mainly. And they are speaking in this, uh, in this, in this keynote um, or in this presentation mainly for developers um, who build apps. But there's some nuggets in there as well for, um, for marketers out there. And they announced some um, cool new changes. So um, away from this, this change, they actually have some interface changes which we'll take a look at in the moment. Um, the Google Analytics, Chris Seiden was also on stage and, and told us a bit about some changes. Um, but mainly um, what I could parse from it is that the integrations just get more um, filled out. So if we look at this chart here, where's this chart? Right here, um, we can see that there are so many integrations now. So if you have uh, 360 running, um, you can pull the data directly from Firebase. Uh, Google Tag Manager is connected to it. Then a lot of other Firebase services, even new services are on there like the cloud functions. Um, 
which is more for developers, I would say. Um, but if you are responsible for advertising on your app as well, you might want, uh, you might see that there are connections to AdWords, but also AdMob now. So the whole monetization um, feeds right back into Firebase. You can also be proactive with Firebase messaging. So if you have events in Firebase and you want to send out a notification to um, a user or a subset of users, you could do that through the app suite of Firebase. Um, there is an integration with BigQuery now um, that was there before already. But uh, if you think about it, that's quite interesting because we can now take our Firebase um, uh, data, this huge data set, and they said this is going to stay free for app developers. Um, and it's also going to scale in that way. So um, they might not integrate that fully into their 360 suite, but keep it um, uh, by, their, by themselves with, with, with Firebase. Um, and you can send that data or dump that data into your BigQuery um, and they actually have a new free tier there. So um, you can analyze your data with SQL queries. And as you might know, there's a new tool out there called Google Data Studio. So we also have Data Studio available to, um, to then visualize that data directly from BigQuery. So quite interesting um, connections here from Firebase itself. Um, and uh, yeah, it makes it for me, it feels like that Firebase was built from the ground up, as they said, for mobile apps mo mostly. And we can see that the integrations are um, much more far reaching than what we have with Google Analytics because Google Analytics is so old and it has been built for websites. And now um, there are so many things that they need to. Um, um, look at when when they integrate some new features um, privacy concerns and so on so with firebase they have a new um, base that they built off and um, you know that you can also use firebase for your web apps uh, it's just not supported for like javascript tracking um, in terms of what what you can do actually with google analytics and this whole event features that um, firebase is built on and they have an integration new with DoubleClick. Um, so if you're a bigger advertiser and you want to um, integrate all your um, advertisers onto your mobile app, you can do that now as well. So these are um, the connections. So there are new connections that we um, that Firebase just uh, takes control of. But um, they also have some interface changes. So if you are familiar with Firebase, so Firebase is basically the the analytics suite of uh, for mobile apps and it might be in the future the thing that they're being banking on in order to um, also win over app developers um, for analytics so if you look here at this new firebase um, um, demo account we actually see some new data so mainly if you if you look through the data um, not much has changed only uh, one interesting fact here is that there are new um, screen uh, classes in here. So what does that mean? So when Google Firebase was announced, they said, okay, this is all based on events. So you need to send in events, 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 events. So if somebody clicks something, somebody does something in your app, you would put that into um, your, uh, that, that would show up in your Firebase and you can then analyze it. And they made that very easy and um, very forward, uh, or they pushed this, this feature pretty forward. Now, um, what they have built in by default, so it tracks it actually by default, are now screens. So what you know from uh, the web, maybe pages, um, is familiar to that. And they, I don't know if they budged or how they said, okay, this is useful, let's put that in. So here you see these um, screen, screen classes and you can now use these to actually um, see how the engagement is on. Um, so like on the web. Um, now, one thing that Firebase does by default is a few events. Um, they have now support for um, custom events in there as well, so you can filter through them and so on. Um, one thing that is still, you can uh, mark them as conversions as well. So if somebody installs, uninstalls, do, does this or that in your, um, app, you can mark them as a conversion. Uh, you also get these nice graphs now. Once you click on an ad click here, for example, so you can 
uh, filter down by your ad your attributes as well and um, you have all these different charts to um, analyze that data a little bit further now let's go to the cool new things here is actually the stream view so we have here stream view and what this is is a visualization of uh, the users or the event events that are happening right now so uh, the demo app here is flooded and you can see what or where is the most activity this is just the basically the um, overview of uh, what is happening in um, in your app right now and which location not super interesting what i found interesting is actually i downloaded this app so if somebody's from berlin watching me uh, don't do this right now uh, okay <laughs> my phone just went out of order anyways um, you can actually see yourself in here and they have a um, they have an interesting um, an interesting functionality in here as well uh, which is the user snapshot so you can open that up and it will randomly select the user um, so if you go and click further here's somebody from New Orleans on a Samsung and we get this nice graph where we can actually look through the events that happen so I don't know um, let's see here we here we go this is an event that happened user engagement and we can click on it and see um, the user properties and so on. Now, this would be really great if you could use it actually for debugging. So I thought maybe there is a functionality in there that I can just uh, open up the app and say, okay, I came from Berlin and click on my user um, and click on my user and see what I'm doing on the fly and see, wow, this is actually working. But um, like it is actually in Google Tag Manage uh, in Google Analytics, you can actually put in these UTM tags and say, okay. Um, this is me and I can then go through the real-time reporting and see okay is the event coming in correctly because debugging was always like this the thing in Google um, in, in Firebase actually because it was pretty hard to do if you are not a developer and if you just want to see if the event is working that was uh, quite hard to do because you didn't have this real-time view now you can really zoom in on one user in particular you could click thousand of times till you find yourself here but if it's a big app, there's actually another view. This is the debugging view. So as I said, the debug view actually does this for only you. But the problem is that you can't just pull up your app and do it live on the app, which is yeah, um, kind of live, I guess. You actually need to um, do this on a, um, on a debug device. So in your Android console, uh, within your, so emulated Android device. So if you have an emulator on your um, computer and you have the application code open, so in Android Studio, I don't have that here right now, you will be able to um, put in some commands and then you'll be able to see yourself here in the debug view, only yourself. Um, I don't think this will be then counted into the actual uh, Firebase analytics, so it doesn't screw up your data um, as well and you would be able to actually see the same thing that we just looked at here in the live view as well. So yeah, that, that's a pretty cool feature, uh, especially if you want to see like um, the, the data in real time, coming in in real time. And this is something that Google Analytics doesn't have. Well, we have this user explorer report, but it is based on cookies. And here it's really devices, so it's quite interesting to um, look at one or the other user and say, okay, what is this user doing right now and how did he use the app? So somebody from Norway is right here. So if anybody's watching from Norway and uh, um, looking at this app right now and can see, okay, if he didn't do anything yet. But um, this is a great feature, especially when it comes to, does my app actually work? How are people using it? Now on the left-hand side, you see this, all these other functionalities. This is actually, um, from the develop uh, menu of Firebase. So Firebase is a whole suite for developers and um, this data from Firebase Analytics actually feeds into that. So you could uh, build tests of that, you could store um, certain data 
um, do performance tests and so on. This is uh, something that a developer would actually do. You as a marketer would probably look at this data and see how you could be using it and doing some analysis on where we could be going with this. So the interesting part here is uh, how can we analyze? I mean, we have these dashboards that um, show us some data. We have the basic functionality of um, the, the, the ca calendar here, um, the timeline view and the filters of the properties that are in here. Um, but we can also send this all over to BigQuery. And then within BigQuery, we can write our um, SQL queries, um, do our analysis or, or pull the right data basically. Then we can go over to Data Studio. All right. Let's go to Data Studio and then build a report of that. So they showed that also on the stage. It was quite interesting. Um, if something like this is set up, you as a analyst would maybe um, look into the uh, reports. I don't know if they have built one already. Doesn't seem so. Uh, but it would be interesting to see if uh, how, how this would actually work. And you can pull all the attributes from Firebase into um, uh, Google Data Studio. It's not yet um, it's not yet a connector within uh, Data Studio itself. So you can't actually take out the data or maybe I'm talking BS here. Let me just, can I edit this? And see whether we can change the data source. Maybe I'm discovering something new today. Uh, no. No, let me build a new report here. All right, and so uh, quite interesting as a marketer, you just need to know what the, uh, here we go, create a new data source. So we have Google Search Console, but not yet um, Firebase. That would be interesting. If we can get Firebase in here, we don't have to go through BigQuery, obviously. But maybe it's too much processing at the back end that they don't have that built in yet. So I wouldn't blame them. All right, in um, conclusion, Firebase changed its name from Firebase Analytics. Let me, let me go back here. So, okay, Firebase changed its name from Firebase Analytics to Google Analytics for Firebase. So they're making more the move back together and the Firebase thing. Um, the whole, maybe it will be Google Analytics at some point. Um, they are taking the approach uh, still to include um, much more OT events into uh, Firebase itself. So we have now have the screen views in there. Um, and they have new functionality, such as the stream view. We can uh, look at data uh, on a on a user by user basis, but not on one particular user. So that's uh, still randomized. Um, and I guess um, many more integrations into many more systems of Google, like AdMob, DoubleClick, and so on. All right. So there you have it. This is how you. The news changes from Google I.O. about Firebase Analytics and the new Google Analytics for Firebase. If you like this, please give this a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you in one of the next videos or live sessions. My name is Julian. Till next time.